think it's time to make everybody an educational video when you're out clam digging, razor clam digging on the ocean beaches in the late fall, early winter. We're talking about December. Female crab will be closer to shore and they will be brooding their eggs so they can hatch their eggs. They're buried in the sand. So when it's low tide, they're hidden. The sand could be flat and they're hidden. All you see is a little hole that looks like a clam hole. And I'm gonna show you some examples of what I'm talking about. They're, they're getting hit by clam guns, but I'll show you these examples. See this crab? Okay. All the eggs in the back there. See how its nose is broken? This is from a clam digger accidentally mistaking it for a clam hole. Unfortunately, the last few days, I'm gonna walk over to this one too. The last few days, I've been finding bunches and bunches of them washed up on the beach. Now I'm gonna push on the abdomen, see if it's alive. See how it moved? It's still barely alive. And come daylight, they're gonna be cleaned up by the seagulls. You won't even know they were here. You'll just find crab shell everywhere. I've seen this because the last couple days, there's two, 300 of these guys, or women, these female Dungeness, that have been half cut by, ray, or by clam guns and clam shovels. But I'll find another example and I'll show you. Yeah, that one's still barely alive. I can't collect it, I can't do anything with it. Ocean's over there and it's just gonna wash back up because it somehow has been hurt. So it's not doing too well. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Just like that, five more. I bet most with eggs. They don't die with eggs. See, there's the clam, done, <clears throat> clam gun cut mark. Dead. Clam gun cut mark. Eggs, dead. I don't see any clam, oh, right there on the ridge of it, rim of its shell, right? Right there. Yep, eggs, dead. There it is, right across the back, dead. Probably by the same person. They're mistaking these uh, little clam holes, because I found them myself. Little clam holes are mistaking them out there when it's low tide for clam digs. They're mistaking them for clams. And they go to push the gun real hard, and they cut right into these, these crab. Before you know it, they've already damaged them and they'll die. They're buried anywhere from two to three inches under the sand. So if you find these little clam holes and you start to go down and you bump into them, stop. Dig it, just dig it out with your fingers a little bit to see what it is. You'll find it's a crab, leave it alone. It's a brooding female Dungeness. There's a crab, there's a crab, there's a crab. Here's two more crab. And here's another crab. And then let's go down here and I'll show you some more. A little bit of wind. Uh, there's a crab. There's a crab. This one's a good one. I'll go back to that crab in a second. See how it's missing half its body? Cut right off. And, 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 and. There's a crab. Here's a couple more examples. That one's been cut into by a clam gun. You see the rounded cut mark from a clam gun? And it's still alive, it's still moving. Again, there's nothing I can do with these. 
And yeah, they're both carrying eggs. Thousands of eggs. How many of these crab do I film? How long of a video do I make to show these female crab? Yeah, it had eggs also. <laughs> Not many, but it had eggs. How many do I show? Now that it's daylight, the seagulls are out here to clean up after uh, the carnage anyway. They're, they're cleaning up the dead uh, crab. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to explain this more than... Uh, just know that if you're hitting crab, be more aware that there's other crab. You'll keep hitting them. I found sections with uh, three to five crab that are all rolled up together, so there had to have been maybe the same clam digger hitting these crab. Now, when I've gone out clam digging, I've ran across the crab. When I've used my clam gun and I've hit it, yeah, we all have. But thousands of us have done that. So imagine that, thousands of us hitting these crab. I know, it's, it's just a rant. But anyway, uh, it's all I could do is just to show you in the mornings, they're all gone. The crab are all cleaned up. But it shows that we've been the ones doing the damage on these crab that I find dead on the beach. I'll start with this one. Seagulls, I just, I just drove by them and they flew off. But they already have the apron popped open. They've already eaten all the eggs on this one. And, uh... Yeah, see the clam, clam gun crunch? Next one. The seagulls have opened the apron, ate all the eggs, and already gotten into the inside. There's another clam gun. They've tore legs off of this one. Oh, still moving. So this one's still barely alive. But you could see edges of clam guns where it cut all of its legs off. This one... They tore the legs off, they got inside, and here's another crunch. Free food for all the seagulls. People, I don't know how to explain this in an educational way, but I see hundreds of these per clam dig up and down the beaches. And then the seagulls show up the next morning and clean it all up. Nobody, nobody notices because all the dead crab are all gone by the seagulls. You'll just find sh uh, the hoods some legs if you hit a crab the best with your clam gun if you hit a crab with your clam gun the best thing to do is just leave it in the sand don't dig it up with your fingers because they're brooding these eggs and right now the more than likely they don't have the strength to rebury themselves and that might be why they're being washed ashore plus the damage being done with the clam guns but some of these crab as you've seen I was checking they some of them were alive, so could they survive? I don't know. Can the egg survive if the crab was still buried? Uh, again, I don't know. 